Hi, this is just a very quick video to show you how you can activate or deactivate a button on the UI based on the state of the sustain pedal. So we're going to add a button to the UI. And we'll just zoom in on that. And we'll right click in the component list to get a script variable definition, which we'll paste into our script. And then we'll go to the on controller callback. And there are a few ways we can do this. So the first way is we can check which controller has triggered the callback. And if it's controller 64, which is what sustain pedals are assigned to, we can then check if the value is above a certain threshold. And if it is, we turn on the button. And if it isn't, we turn the button off. But what I'm going to show you is actually a much simpler method. So highs has a built in function that can tell us if the sustain pedal is on or off. And it's this one, synth dot is sustain pedal down. So I'm just going to print this out, console print. So if I press my sustain pedal now, we get a one. And if I release the sustain pedal, we get a zero. So it's going to be one or zero. And we can just apply this value directly to our button's value. So we can just write button one dot set value synth dot is sustain pedal down and semicolon I'll hit F5 and now if I press the sustain pedal the button turns on and if I release the button turns off so that's a really simple way of adding an indicator to your UI to show if the sustain pedal is up or down thank you for joining me for this quick tip Hope you found it helpful. That's all I've got for you today. Bye for now.